Hi everyone, this is Claire from The Study Gurus. In this video, I'm going to talk about what the best way to go about approaching your exam paper is. A lot of students fall into the trap of just answering an exam paper from front to finish. For some exams, like maybe if all of the questions are multi-choice, that's okay. But for a lot of exams, this can be a massive mistake. The reason why this can be a really bad idea basically boils down to time. As you know, in an exam, time is an incredibly precious commodity, and you have to use all of the time you have to the very best of your ability. You have to answer your exam paper as efficiently as possible. And often, answering an exam paper simply from beginning to end isn't going to help you use your time as efficiently as possible. To get a good grade in an exam, you don't need to give the best answer that the examiner has ever seen for every question. You can get good grades in your exams without even answering the entire paper. The way we approached our exams was to answer the questions that we could answer easily and relatively quickly first. This necessarily means that you don't answer your exam from front to back without jumping back and forth a little bit. Often in exams, the first couple of questions are a little bit easier. This is really good because it means that you can answer questions that you should be able to answer pretty easily and it really helps to sort of warm up your brain. It's kind of like doing stretches for the mind. And then say on the third or fourth question, you might come across something that actually requires you to think a lot more or you come across something when you think, I don't actually know how to answer this. What we strongly recommend doing in this situation is leaving that question and moving on to something that you can answer quickly and easily again. This all boils back to our good old friend, time. You've only got a short amount of time and you have to use every second. You don't have time to sit there and ponder a question that's really hard and a question that you might not be able to answer at all. You're so much better off if you move on and answer something that you can actually get marks for. After all, nothing on a page means no marks. So if you've spent too much time on questions that are actually too hard, well then you might run out of time entirely at the end of the exam and have got zero marks for questions that you otherwise would have been able to answer quite easily. So you can see, this is all about just being smart about how you use your time. For one, this is probably going to ensure that you never fail an exam because at least you've clinched all of the easy marks. By approaching exams in this way, where you try and just answer as many easier questions at the beginning and come back and answer the say medium and harder questions later, you're going to have secured all of the easy marks. Once you've gone through and answered the easier questions, you should still have lots of time to go back and answer the harder questions and your brain should be really warmed up by now. This might sound silly, but we really did find that the further you get through an exam, the more your, I don't know, neurons start to fire and you can answer the harder questions more easily. I remember really distinctly coming across exam questions that were hard, but that I think I could probably answer, but my brain at the beginning of an exam just wasn't quite, you know, firing. So what I would do is leave that, go and answer some easier questions, come back once my brain was warmed up, and I'd be more like in exam mode to be able to answer it. This technique of not answering an exam just from front to back is one of the things that we absolutely swear by. So many students don't get the grades that they deserve because they run out of time in exams and they squander marks that they otherwise would have got. So please don't make the same mistake. Start being disciplined and try and answer all of the easier questions first and come back to the harder ones later.